new sticker kit that's going to go on this weekend and it's just been tweaked but um i really like these simple kind of designs very slick very nice thanks to screen fx And this is the brand spanking new one uh, with a few extra tweaks this year. So we're going to put this on real time. See how we go. So first things first, and this is a little uh, hint I've been given by uh, Jamie. Many thanks, Jamie. Hopefully it works. It works for the ones I've done at the front already. So if this doesn't work, then oh well. Is I'm just going to heat this up a little bit. It was better when they're a little bit more malleable. Then I'm going to start to peel, but I'm going to, I'm going to try and keep it just to the top part for the moment. And when we get to the bottom, we'll do that. But I have it on good account. You can, with the Windex, actually do the whole thing. Not quite game enough to do it. I am a still a little bit of a, a, an amateur in putting on sticker sets and go karts. I thought we did an okay job for our first go, but who knows? With the Windex, hopefully, we will move forward in leaps and bounds. So, should to move it around a little bit more with this stuff on it. And. What I will do is I'll just peel a little bit more off at the top and then with the help of the heat gun I'm told the Windex also acts almost like a bit of a bonding agent so let's start from the back The thing with the Windex is, uh, well, yeah, you can have a second shot at it. Right, so while I'm just doing a bit of a cleanup of some of the residue that's on these stickers, they look beautiful. I think we've done a reasonable job actually. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an update as to how we've been going in what will be our first go karting video of 2024. Um, we've done four mints, three KA mints, and one kart sport meet. And the short answer is we've had a mixed bag. So the aim was, at the beginning of the year, well the aim I gave myself was, if I could be going pace in heavies to finish top three, uh, whether we did or not is kind of immaterial, but if we had the pace, then we would go and commit to the full season of Festival State Cup, um, including the away rounds, which obviously come at more of a cost. So, how did we do? Well, I think I had acceptable pace at three out of the four. Uh, the first meet was at Bolivar. Um, and it wasn't terrible. 
we just sort of lost out on racing really, but um, the pace was not terrible. I came away going, yeah, you know what, a little bit of work and we're kind of there. Uh, Barossa, I think we were there. Um, didn't finish top three, but we were amongst it. And Monado, not so much. I'll come back to Monado. It's kind of my uh, Achilles heel amongst many other Achilles heel. It's a bigger one. But the kart sport meet, which happened I think, one or two weeks before the KA meet at Barossa, was a bit of a surprise. So we went out, and even though kart sport is a much less serious kind of meet, you still find you know, KA drivers that podium and win that come and do it. So uh, we had that, and um, out we went. And yeah, it was a bit of a surprise meet. The first one, they combined us, lights and heavies, um, but we were finishing top three in the first race. Uh, lost a couple of positions coming up to back markers, but uh, it is what it is. Second race, we were involved in an accident. Um, one of three costly accidents we've had this year. And what happened is, well, I'll show you the picture of what happened, but essentially, um, it, I thought it was gonna be a trailer job. And Ian Williams comes up and goes, I can straighten that out. Um, so I thought, I was a, I was a bit skeptical, but I thought, oh, anything to get back amongst the action, and he did. Um, and he also wheel balanced, and we were literally about, you know, a minute away from meeting, missing the start in the next race. But he got us out there, and we drew, I think in the second race, we were like starting fifth overall, and, and um, third in heavy, so on the third row overall. Went around not even knowing if the car would steer straight. Got the gun, green light, because there's a green light in car sport um, uh, as opposed to lights out in KA. And we got a hell of a run, went down the inside, cleared two rows in front, and I'm looking around going, we're in the lead. <laughs> How did that happen? see how long we can stay here so it wasn't just in the lead of the heavies it was in the lead overall and we spent about two-thirds of the lead uh, sorry two-thirds of the race right up the front and then uh, Lee Chesson who was in the lights that day he got through so we we're still running uh, first overall in heavies and uh, we held that position to the end I'm just sort of laughing almost under my helmet I couldn't believe we went from nearly putting it in the trailer to Ian Williams doing a bit of a magician's trick and us coming away with the bacon Next race, we draw the pole. <laughs> so I thought, oh well, we did all right from the uh, third row. Let's see how we go from the front. And uh, we led from start to finish. So that was a huge, a huge, big success as well. We're massively happy with it. And um, then for the final, we had got enough points to start up the front on the on in the second position. And uh, Blake Dewey was on the pole, and we got another good start. Ended up in the lead for the third time. <laughs> I made a few mistakes in that race, so I lost positions to James Place and to uh, Blake Dewey. And 
then in that kerfuffle as well, just losing momentum, I also lost another position to Steve Callahan. So I thought, geez, he, he's finished all the races. I've had a DNF. I don't know where I'm going to end up, but I'm, I need to get back in front of Steve. Opportunity came. And as we're coming up to back markers, I thought, I wonder if something might happen to the leaders um, to hold them up so we can catch up again. And something did happen to the leaders. Um, didn't catch up, but James ended up in the tyres. So yeah, ended up coming second in the last race and overall that was a second for that meet. So I was pretty happy with uh, that, particularly the two surprise wins. And that was, that was giving us a lot of confidence going into the next meet, which was the KA round at Barossa. Didn't finish on the podium, but we did run third and fourth in some of the races. Had an amazing race with uh, Tim Murphy in one of them. Um, really enjoyed that. And yeah, I think actually we might have had a smidgen more pace in the KA meet. Just didn't quite uh, pull it all together when we needed to. But I was happy with those two races. Then we went to, well, first we went to Queensland, Karen and I. And there's obviously videos up about that. For a break, came back next day, first day after our holiday. We shouldn't have done it. We went out to Monado. Weren't dialed in. Didn't have the right gear ratio. Didn't qualify as well as I'd hoped. And then there was a big drama at the first corner and I had nowhere to go. Ended up out and for the third race of the year, uh, quite a bit of damage to the cart with another bent axle. So needless to say, we were spending the rest of the day catching up after that, just trying to pull things back together. Um, Craig did an amazing job changing the axle. Um, then we had a DNF in the second race with some of the other damage that, that, was, that was caused. We had a broken uh, throttle cable. Um, and yeah, that needed to be done too. And by the time we got to the third race, hadn't quite worked out. We had the wrong gearing in. Sorted that out for the final. Had a bit more pace then. To be fair, we were not that far off the pace in the final. Um, at least not the, the biggest uh, accumulation of heavies. Um, there was a couple that kind of did the bolt, but um, we, we would have probably been amongst it had we uh, got our act together a little bit sooner. Yeah, pretty disappointing. Lots of dollars. My wallet's a lot lighter. It was the third load of damage this year, but, but Monado really stung. So we spent the last month or so not racing, um, just in the process of tidying up the car, getting it back to a position where we can go racing again. We are not doing the Festival State Cup, at least the away rounds. We'll do some of the ones here. Uh, and one of the next races coming up soon, we've got Kart Sport again at Barossa. And then we also are back at Barossa again. And that's for the Festival State Cup. So I think we'll do that. And hopefully we'll, you know, be able to have some good races. But the other thing I want to mention in, in this video is just to talk about how we're doing with the heavies. What, what, my, my, um, what I'm going to do going forward. And that is that I've decided to go back to mediums. Because I'm in the process of losing a, a lot of weight at the moment. So I've always said if we can run optimum weight in mediums, we'll run mediums. If we can go below that, who knows, we'll run lights and mediums maybe. But a um, bit of a shame because I like racing the, the heavy guys, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm gonna race probably without the weight on the car. So that's what we're gonna do. And um, yeah, it's been okay. Mixed, mixed feelings, mixed results, but that's carding, isn't it?